Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I made these custom Disney's cast member badges with shrink plastic. I'll be using my Cricut Maker Machine to draw the image and cut the plastic. This video is made assuming you know the basics of using the Cricut Machine and Design Space. So the first thing is to make the base out of shrink plastic. I uploaded an image I found online to use as a template. I'll link the template in the description box you can use. I took a circle shape and shaped it into an oval and took another circle shape for the top portion. I welded the two shapes together so it becomes one piece. Size it to your desired size. I want my finished badges to be about 2.5 inches wide, so I'm going to size it so it's anywhere between 5.5 to 5.75 inches wide. Next, add the image. I'm using a couple of images from the Cricut Access database. For the image, make sure the pen operation is selected instead of the cut operation. The pen is going to draw the outline of the image, and yes, it's not a solid outline, but because I'm sizing the image small and using an extra fine marker, the lines will be filled. But in general, you want to choose images that are simple with thin lines. I need to use a Sharpie permanent marker for this. The one I'll be using is the extra fine point tip. Of course, it's not going to fit properly in the machine unless you have an adapter. I don't have one, so I found this cheap hack where you use a foam pencil grip. I'll link Angie Holden's video of it because the hack worked perfectly. I'll be using the fine point blade to cut the plastic. So for material selection, select acetate and increase the cup pressure to more. With acetate, the machine goes through two passes to cut. I'll be using clear shrink plastic, but use a frosted or sanded variety if you have one. I'll have to sand mine once I'm done cutting it. Make sure to load it with shiny side up for the permanent marker. Now here's some tips when cutting shrink plastic with a machine. Number one, you'll have the best result with simple shapes that have curves. Intricate designs with corners and appendages may cause a plastic to crack or tear. Number two, when the machine is finished cutting, don't unload the mat. We're going to repeat the cut because the first pass is not enough to cut through the plastic. Unloading and loading the mat will shift everything, ruining the alignment. But because it's going to repeat everything, including the drawing, remove the pen first before proceeding. However, this whole step may not be necessary if you use a deep point blade with a thicker material setting. Now I'm going to sand the back of my shrink plastic using a 320 grit sandpaper. I'm going to concentrate more in the area where I'll be coloring which is behind the mascot. To add some color, I'm going to first fill in the rest of the black with a sharpie and on the sanded side, I'm going to use a combination of colored pencils and paint markers. Then we bake according to package instructions. Make sure to flatten as soon as you take it out of the oven so it's nice and flat. Now 
Next, we add the text. I'll be using this dark blue vinyl adhesive. First, I measure the actual piece and size that image to it on the design space, which is about 2.5 inches wide. I'm going to use Arial Round for the font because I think that's what Disney uses. For material selection, select washi and increase cup pressure to more. With this setting, the tiny letters won't get all messed up since the machine will cut it out more delicately. Make sure your blade is clean from the shrink plastic shavings before you cut the vinyl. I did use a reverse weed method to transfer the letters onto the transfer tape since the letters are so tiny. Next, we paint the back of the badges with white acrylic paint. I like to use a makeup sponge to dab on the paint. You get an even application without any brush strokes. I did two more coats of this. As with all of my shrink plastic creations, I like to clear coat them with a sealer to increase adhesion for the resin layer I'll be adding later. But before I do that, I need to seal the Sharpie ink because if I don't, the sealer spray will dissolve it. You can use a decoupage medium like Mod Podge or what I recently discovered, you can also use no wipe gel top coat made for nails. Once the front side is fully cured, glue on your badge findings and dome them with white colored resin to seal and secure everything. And here are all of the finished badges. I think they turn out so cute. These are the perfect gift for Disney fans. Now just to make it clear, you don't need the machine to make these. You can easily draw and cut them by hand. But I think with the machine, the results are more consistent. Also, thank you Shaylin, Bernice, and Gabby for letting me use your names for this video. You will be receiving the badges with your name on it as a thank you gift. Well, I hope you all enjoy this video and I hope you guys give this project a try. If you did, tag me on Instagram, I love to see them. As always, please hit me a like and don't forget to subscribe for more DIY videos like this one. Thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!